Hi guys, in today's video, I'm looking at another website, looking at the good and the bad uh, of this Shopify store. It's one of the many in our series, and it's the second episode now. Uh, the first being a customer's website, which, uh, you know, was a brand new website. So there was a lot to talk about. I'm not sure how much we'll go into this one, but it's an already established store that sells women's footwear. Uh, and it's called Maguire. Uh, it's a really nice website, but I haven't really had a look yet. So we're going to do kind of a live analysis slash review of it. And uh, so let's get started. Uh, one of the things I didn't look at last time, which, which is what tools they use. Now, normally, you, of course, you can ask the people, but they might not tell you. So I'm using Wappalyzer, which is basically like, um, it's basically a plugin in your uh, Chrome or your Firefox, I assume it's on Firefox as well, uh, which basically tells you what kind of things they use. Now, it's not always super accurate in the sense of, um, telling you everything, but you get a good gist of the stuff to use for certain bits. So in this case, we can see that the e-commerce platform they use is Shopify. They're using customer for live chat and CRM. They're using Google fonts, which is quite common. And then they use a bunch of other things like Lottie files. So that's for like animated pictures. And they've got a bunch of uh, JavaScript libraries. I assume this is across different uh, plugins and so on. And they got their own search engine, which is they use uh, Boost uh, Commerce. It's something I haven't seen much of people use, but it is, um, it is definitely an established name. And then, and then they use Tamped and Clavio for reviews. They use Afterpay and Sezzle for buy now, pay later schemes. And you can see their payment processes. They use PayPal, Apple Pay, Shop Pay. Uh, so yeah, there's quite a few options there. Um, you know, something to take back, I guess, and to look at stuff. Clavier, once again, is another thing they use. Um, so yeah, that's quite, 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 a, quite a nice stack of apps. Uh, and they use uh, custom fields um, by Accentuate, uh, which is quite nice. And they've got a back and stock plugin app as well. So yeah, quite a well-developed um, store, as we can see already. Um, so let's get started with the header. So as you see here, we've got a top header here, which is always nice. A nice trust signal with the free shipping and returns and orders over $125 plus. So that's already kind of like an incentive to spend more as well. Uh, then you got the language and I assume the location, the region, uh, which you can choose. Then you've got a support button and a login button. So if you've got an account, you can simply log in. Then you've got a stores button, which uh, I'm going to open up a new tab. And it should show, yeah, so it's, sh it's showing basically what they have um, in terms of stores. So once again, a really good trust signal. You know, if you've never been to this website and you're like, is this legit? I mean, that kind of kind of solidifies it. They're, they've got actual physical stores. So that's very nice. Uh, and then let's click on support. I just want to see more in depth, see what they've got. So they kind of talk about delivery um, in quite a good detail as well um, in terms of what what region they're serving then they also got a frequently asked questions this is very nice um i'd say this is pretty much like you know there's not much to do here i wouldn't you know i wouldn't add much uh to it i'd say it's pretty much five out of five um then to go back we got the logo in the middle very nice and then we've got the menu on the left always you know it's hard to do menus but this one's actually quite neat so they got categories by shoes uh shoe category sorry uh so we've got sandals boots blah 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 then you've got actually like trending themes so they've got kind of like you know new arrivals coming soon gift cards da, da, da. so this is kind of like the extras bit and then they've got the fit so if you know if you wear small size shoes or wide feet um, shoes uh you can uh go to that category and find the shoes suited for you so this is really nice then you've got the accessories bit handbags wallets laces um, and so on and so on really nicely done there is a lot of kind of space here i guess but um you know it kind of makes up for it you know you got some nice imagery here too could they add more potentially uh but it's quite neat um so no i'm not complaining and then they got you know fit and style so shoe sizer compare the shoes duh, 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 duh. really nice you know, you, you don't really need much more in this type of a niche, I'd say. Um, you know, and then you've got lookbooks, which is a massive thing uh, that a lot of fashion stores and on Shopify and WooCommerce miss out on. 
Um, of course, it's a, it is an investment. So if you're running a drop shipping store, for example, you know, you're probably not going to get a lookbook, except if you've got something that comes from your supplier. Um, but you know, that is a totally different level of operating in comparison to this store here, which is clearly well established and not operating on the drop shipping, uh, kind of style of trading. Uh, and then you've got the about us, which is a nice, another trust, a trust signal. They talk about their factories, their, um, stores. I think the only thing here is they got factories capitalized. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's very neat and they got transparency. Um, yeah, just a really well, nicely made website. And then they got, um, the header, uh, or the he header banner here. And then the logo you can see here switches to a little smaller icon, but it stays, um, with you. So you don't have to scroll up to get to the menu, which is a really nice feature. It's called like a sticky header. Uh, they're normally quite easy to do. Some themes have like a, you know, if you're using a, a non-custom theme, they'll actually have like a tick button where you can click and make sure that your menu stays um, with the customer at all times. So let's look at the banner. They got basically two images here, as we can see of some combat boots. Um, there's not kind of much to be said here. They kind of just went with like, this is what we have. You can shop it here. They're not trying to offer some special deals. Um, they're not trying to solve a problem here. They're simply just selling the shoes. Uh, and then we scroll down, we've got some other stylish shoes, uh, and then they got stuff fix. So they're current favorites. So, you know, if you need recommendations, maybe you're not sure what to get, here's where you go and you can find some really nice, um, images alongside it. Um, one of the cool things that I do like here is they got, they got the icons here or the little labels. So they're saying that this has been restocked. This is a new product. This is really, really helpful. Um, something that's massively underlooked by a lot of, um, e-commerce businesses is labels. Another thing we see here is when you scroll over the image, um, uh, the hover image is normally someone wearing the, uh, the shoes. This is massive in fashion. Uh, and again, another thing that a lot of even very big fashion stores miss out on is actually including imagery of someone wearing the clothes because a lot of people don't, you know, they don't have phenomenal imaginations of how the shoe will look or how the shoe should, you know, be worn, for example, or their clothing piece or whatever it is. Um, so sharing images in use uh, of the product in use is uh, very beneficial and very helpful. Uh, so yeah, this is very nice. I, I like it. It's very well done. Uh, and then, you know, clear pricing, you know, got a little kind of subheader here as well. And as we scroll down, you've got more menu options here. So specific themes here for women's winter boots, winter, and then, and then you've got more about us, you know, here's a trust signal here again, you know, you're talking about the brand here. So it says that they're sisters, you know, women led company, this kind of thing, a lot of people buy into. And I think it's a really well made, uh, bit of the website you know it's something that is important to a lot of brands and to a lot of consumers especially you know in this kind of range of products you know it's they're not cheaply priced shoes they're made for people that care about their footwear and also have the money to spend on their footwear and typically people that don't really care for high-end fashion uh, as such in terms of wearing you know big famous labels they're looking for quality so yeah this is a really important and um I'd say a really nice feature for the homepage. As we scroll down, they kind of, it seems like it's a blog. I'm just going to go open it in a new tab. Oh, they're talking about the story basically here. Um, so yeah, really nicely done. And here's more trust signals. So you got a quote. I'm not sure which, uh, publication it's from, but they got Vogue, WWD, which is a massive in fashion. Um, the Globe and Mail and L, you know, all these are massive trust signals. The only thing I would add is probably, um, oh, they do have hyperlinks. Yeah. So this is nice. Yeah. There's a big trust signal. You know, if you're establishing a new store, you're probably not going to have any press, but it, you know, if you're looking to establish a really serious store, you should look at this because, because th this is one of the ways to really grow. Uh, beyond kind of, you know, getting customers from Google ads or Facebook ads, you know, getting it from press. Press is, is massive in terms of creating um, a bigger trust of your customers, but also just, um, you know, making you bigger, you know, 
you are reaching a bigger audience, not just people that search for the specific thing. So um, now we've got to uh, discover our unique experience. And so you, you see the stores here, once again, really nice. And then you've got the footer of the website. So, you know, they've got like, kind of got the trust icons, which normally at the top, at the bottom. And they're talking about, you know, direct to consumer. They're talking about ethical craftsmanship, women led. You know, these are really the values that they're sharing um, from their brand to you as the user. So this is very nicely done, you know, because um, they already kind of have, you know, they already got bits like free shipping at the top and returns so you don't need more and here you also have it within the menu you know yeah it's it's pretty much superbly done the only thing that i would say is probably add the icons for payment options um you know this would really just kind of make it neater but i do understand that you know they might not fit within the design of the website as such but that's probably my kind of thing that i would add to it also tiktok has doesn't have a space in it but other than that, it's pretty much flawless here. Um, so let's look at the categories. Um, just want to see what they've got. I'm going to go to footwear and I'm just going to go to boots and see how they've done the categories. So it's a really nice color palette here. You've got kind of like a pinkish tone images. I don't know if they did this in, um, in post or if it's like something that it's applied to, uh, you know, before the image is taken, you know, if they just shot it like that, but it's really nicely done. Uh, once again, they got the labels here uh, and they got a nice filter on the side. So you can choose what kind of style you want, materials, heel height, colors. Yeah, really neat. You don't need much more. And then you can choose, uh, you know, best selling price or title based. Um, so if you know what you're kind of searching for, in terms of pricing and titles, you can select that there. If we scroll down, there's not much. The only thing that is kind of missing, and this would help more on um, SEO side, is adding a product category description. Doesn't have to be long, 50 words works fine. Uh, and that would be probably very beneficial for this um, website. And in terms of the URL, I see that it got boots one. I assume this was because it was duplicated at some point. It's a small fix, but just makes things a bit neater and easier for Google to look at. But other than that, it's quite a neat website, I have to say. Um, once again, we got the same foot here, very clean. Um, so let's go on one of the products. So we've got the sizes, the colors, um, all on the right side. I do like this very prominent imagery um you know this is something you do want on your website and if you click on it you can kind of yeah you can go into it and there's like a video playing as well which is really really nice so you know what it looks like you know um and then you've got the fit you've got the reviews um so this is very very um you know beneficial for you and it even talks about the particularities uh of in within the review which is really really good um, you know, the shoes are such a hard thing to buy online, so you have to really provide as much information as possible as quickly. And uh, yeah, this is really well well done. Um, once again, you've got more products you may also like. And uh, da -da -da -da, sizes, so yeah, you can choose sizes and it tells you if it's out of stock or in stock. So if you're buying, you know you're going to get it. Um, you might have to wait. You can join a wait list. This is very clean and really nicely done. And you got a size chart, a shoe sizer, the colors you can, uh, oops, uh, let me refresh this. Uh, that didn't, that didn't want that. It's not good. Um, so you just gave an error on one of the colors. Not sure why, uh, maybe it was a deleted, um, color or something. Uh, but other than that, really nice. Uh, they talk about why they like it, the materials and care. They got fit notes, how it fits, shipping and returns, really helpful. You know, this is the main kind of bits people look for if they're buying something from a new store. You know, can I return this? Especially with shoes, you know, it's a, it's a massive thing. And then they got transparent pricing, which is really, really nice. So they talk about why it costs to do what they do. So they're saying, you know, production costs 130, we sell it for 270, our competition sells for 400. Um, so they're very honest, um, which, you know, a lot of people like, you know, people don't mind businesses making profit. They just kind of want to know that what they're paying for is of good value. 
Uh, and I think that's a pretty very fair pricing um, um, you know, strategy. Um, and then we're going to add it to cart just to see what it does. So if you've got the sidebar come out. And here they've got the upsells, which is really, really clever. It's something I talk about a lot. This is how you really average, uh, increase your average order value, but also um, ensure that, you know, the customers get more out of your shop than just the thing they came for, you know. Um, so, yeah, you can add these in. Really nice. Um, I'm just going to go to the checkout for this. And they got kind of got the templated Shopify theme, which does work, let's be honest. You know, you don't need to have a custom one. Um, this works quite neat. And so you got pick up in store or ship. And then, yeah, as always, loads of payment options. Really, really good. Um, and you've got the final price there. So yeah, it's a really, really nice uh, website. I don't really have any bad comments. There's maybe a few little tweaks. A um, few little tweaks in terms of SEO. Um, but other than that, I think it's a really nice website. I think a lot of their customers would come from social media. And, um, you know, media. Uh, you know, publications. Because it is just that kind of theme uh, of a website. Um, of an online store. That that's where the audience would come from. Uh, but at the SEO side could definitely do little like little tweaks i think um but you know it's a really good well-made side overall i'd say to give it nine out of ten um and yeah so if you guys want to see any other stores or you know if you want to see a vucomer store uh, drop a comment below and i'll be making sure to make that video next week